Okay, let's get into the actual solo section. We'll split this section into two. One is rhythm and one is solo. The rhythm is very straightforward. We have open C and open G. The pattern um, is very straightforward for the first eight bars at least. <laughs> So the first four bars are just C and G. So heavy palm muted sections. For this section, you can engage your distortion pedal, okay? So I've completely increased my gain here. So again, it's palm muted section. Don't apply too much pressure. You might tune the chord out of its tonality. You might get a C sharp in the end. So just gradually place your palm and mute it, not too much pressure. So again, um, there is a dynamic to this part. So how much closer you are to the neck will define the low end. So, so I would say just quite few paces away from the bridge would do it. We'll, there we'll get a very good low end. Okay, so the pattern is. So the first four bars. And on the fifth bar, there is only one change. What he does is he goes to D sharp for only one bar. And he goes back to C. And the next three bar so I'll just see. I'll just play this once. Okay, after that, the rhythm changes a lot actually. So here the percussion also it changes uh, because we get into the fast um, solo part over there. So we go all the way up to eighth fret and this note is G sharp. So we go to G sharp and we go to F sharp and we come to G again. You can go a single note on this one or you can play the power chords. Okay, so I'm going to show you the pattern on the power chords first. The pattern is same on all three of them. That is the three pattern after followed by that is open C and G. Straight four, two fours chugging. One, three, four, one, two, three. I'll play it slowly. That's pretty much it. You repeat this twice, and on the second time, there is a change on the C power chord. We played it twice on the first time like this. For the second pattern, we played play only once. One, two, three, four. Followed by we have a slide on octave. We slide to C octave. That is C on fifth fret of fifth string and C on seventh fret of third string. Again, four down. One, two, three, four. I'll play this whole section slowly. That is the whole rhythm part for the solo section. Towards the end when the bend is happening. So there is a rhythm part that goes on uh, after this slide.
So I'll slow this rhythm part. Only once, okay? I'll slow it down once again. Let's play the whole rhythm part with the actual solo ones. So that's where the solo ends. So you hear this element after the solo. That is not being played the first time when we end here. Okay, we'll get to that part later after we finish the solo. So before we get into the solo, I have one more variation for rhythm for the last part. So I think we can clean it up a little bit more. You can follow either one of the rhythm patterns, but I think this rhythm pattern will sit better with the song. So either one of them, whichever you feel is sounding good, you can go along with them. You can also go for a single note pattern also. Okay, so let's get into the solo. For playing the solo, you'll need a whammy bar and uh, I have engaged my delay pedal and the distortion pedal over here. So the solo starts on a big bend. Okay, we have, we have F here on the 8th um, fret of the 2nd string and we have E on the 11th fret of the 3rd string. So what we have to do is, we have to get a unison bend first. The E should be bent to F. Okay. This has to be done simultaneously. Uh, I'm going to show you step by step how we can achieve that bend. So the unison bend. So from now we are on F. Okay. We have to bend this to F sharp. So once we have unison, as soon as we have the unison bend, we pull it out and we go to F sharp. As soon as we go to F sharp, the F sharp is achieved by pulling the whammy. You just have to pull it. Be careful with your pressure, you can kind of take it to G also. So that will sound a bit off. So you see that dip there. What we are doing is, so we have, we are going back to E with the whammy. When we bend the whammy, we are forcing the guitar to go back to E. So this is the note emphasis if we play it by one note per time. So F to F sharp, E to F sharp. Okay. So we have the unison from F, we go to F sharp and bend to E and again to F sharp. This happens very quickly and followed by that we slide half step, we have F sharp on 2nd uh, string, ninth fret and we have F on 12th fret of 3rd string. Again we do a unison bend, we achieve F sharp but we again bend with the whammy to Both will sound like this. So for the F sharp, you have to slowly release your whammy and let it back to F.
that's how it'll sound uh, that's the closest I can get so we have those two bends so after that we step back to F we have a half bend over there slow half bend so we start with F on seventh fret of second string we can I think there's a pinch harmonic also bit of pinch harmonic bend from F to F sharp and land on C on the 7th fret of 3rd string okay this is how it will sound till now the bend is pretty slow I kind of hurried over there but rest it for a while start on F stay on F for a while and then bend to F sharp Okay, followed by we have D, C, 5 on, sorry, uh, A sharp and C. So we have A sharp on 5th fret of 3rd string and C on the 7th fret. We have to play this 4 times. So you can have a bit of, uh, what do you say? harmonics over there pinch harmonics okay so till now we have vibrato on the C followed by that we go to sixth fret on the second string which is D sharp and we slide it down to C sharp and C followed by A sharp and C twice okay towards the end I think there is a gamaka he's played uh, he is uh, the guitarist is a bit classical influenced and uh, we can get away with a simple slide from 6, 4, 2, 3 towards the end alternatively we can play this also bend from 4 to 6 and get back to 3rd or that is also fine Okay, so till now we have Okay, followed by we have a climb we start at C sharp 1, 2, 3, D sharp followed by F followed by G sharp Then we have a slide from G, G to A, like G to A sharp here, and followed by G sharp to A sharp. And from G sharp we go back to, sorry, from A sharp we go back to G. should sound when you speed it up okay followed by we have a chromatic line over here from G we go to D sharp 13th fret and D 12th, 11th and 10th. Okay, for the slide, 
I picked the last note. Okay. So followed by this, I go back to D and hammer on twice from D to D sharp and slide up to F, go back to D sharp, twice hammer on, slide to F, back to slide to D-sharp. This part, I'm not picking it. I just picked it to show you. But while coming from this section, I don't pick it because on the original track, you don't hear it very evidently. So I don't pick that part. So once you come back to D-sharp, I go back to C-sharp here. You can hammer on from C-sharp to D. Go back to hammer on and pull off from C sharp to D and from C sharp go back to C. You can do a double hammer on here also if you can uh, get it in there. Either one is fine. Okay, the next section we have a couple of hammer ons here. So we start on 15 and hammer on to 16 and 18. And next on the second string. And the next we go on to the first string and hammer on from 15 to 17. And pull off to 15 and back to 17. Half bend and release and come back to 17 and again pull off on 17 to 15 okay we go to uh, 18 and do a full bend After the full bend, we release back to 18. That's pretty much it. This section will sound like this. Okay, the next we have few slides. We are on 18. So what we have to do is we have to slide from 18 to 15 and back to 17 and pick. So slide from 18 to 15 and pick on 17. Okay, followed by we have one more slide from 20 to 18. Twenty to eighteen and pick on seventeen. Okay, next we go on to the second string, 18th fret to 16th and pick on 15. Okay. Next is on the third fret, we go to 17 and slide to 15 and pick on 14. And 17 on the 4th string and we slide down to 13 and pick on 12. There is a slight hammer on ghost here over here. But we don't have to do it. I think it's just an ad lib. Um, but if you want you can try that but uh, I'm not going to play that here that's the slide part perfect so next we go on to the 15th fret of the fourth string 
hammer on to 17 do the same on third string okay pull off from 17 to 15 on third string and back on 17th on fourth string okay you have to play this twice okay followed by 15 17 hammer on and 15 on third string okay followed by a bend bend it and pick it twice you have to bend it up to C twice bend and pick on the 18th fret of second string twice and one more bend on the 17th fret of third string bend to C and get back to A sharp so that's pretty much it the next section we have a couple of unison bends so we have a sharp and we have b here so we have to bend the a sharp to b so the note that is being played over here is b c c sharp c b c So, along with the unison, it will sound like this. Slowly. So, you do not have to release the bend. You will have to keep it going, but you can give some sort of dynamics over there. I slowed it down to just to show the notes. So the last bit is shared between B and C. You end on C. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. The next part is where the speed picks up. So this section you can either play either you can play an alternate picking or you can hammer on and pull off I'll show you the both uh, but on the original track I think um, it is alternate picking you can clearly make out that uh, pick pattern for the alternate picking so you have 15 17 on third string 14 on your second string 15 on your second string and back to 14 14 on second string again and 17 back on third string it's a straight six pattern one two three four five six one two three four five six okay alternatively you can hammer on hammer on from 15 to 17 hammer on from 15 to 14 to 15 and pull off and pick on 17 if you are alternate picking pick uh, picking consistency is very important over here stick to one picking pattern uh, i mean the alternate picking either start with down picking or up picking either one should be fine but be consistent with it because it's a bit uh, fast you come from this section which is a bit slow you have to dramatically increase your speed over there so you will have to be consistent either you can go for alternate picking or you can go for um, hammer on and pull off both are fine so 
we play twice followed by 15 17 14 and slow it down okay hammer on okay so followed by we have on 15th fret on second string and 16 and 18 so we have to pull off we have to pick 18 and pull off 15 to 50 18 to 15 and 16 to 15 four times you can also do a hammer on and pull off over here you just have to mute your strings Alternate picking is also fine, as I mentioned earlier. So next, we go to 16th fret and 18th fret of second string. Same pattern. You kind of paste it over here. 16, 18, 15, 16. Same. You can again uh, employ alternate picking or hammer on and pull off the whole section will sound something like this so the next section is pretty straightforward on the first string on 15 and next is on 16 and 18 and 20 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and you have to bend Four on 15, 16, 18, 20, bend it whole note thrice. And towards the end of third bend, do a vibrato. So that is the solo. I'll play the solo completely slowly once. So that's the solo, played slowly. So the next section, immediately after that, I'm disengaging the delay pedal over here. You can leave the distortion pedal on. So we have uh, some serious rhythm going on here. So previously, when we played rhythm guitar, So that is where we ended. So immediately after the bend, we get back to that section. So let's slow this down. That is the first half. Second. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, this part kind of is tapered down in the volume. It is not played throughout the song. Um, towards the end, I'm going to um, disengage the distortion pedal over here and uh, turn down my gain volume on the guitar. Towards the end, again, we go back to the same progression. A, G sharp major and G suspended fourth.
that's pretty much it so that's where the song ends let's check out that on the actual track So that's pretty much it. So as soon as the flute or the wind instrument starts towards the end, um, the rhythm, it stops. It kind of fades down and we go back to the same progression again. That's pretty much it. That's the end of the song. That's pretty much it. So I hope you liked the video. If there are any suggestions and if you think uh, there are a few things I can correct in the video, please let me know. Uh, there are a few sections which I'm not really sure about, so I have just improvised those sections. So if you know what they are, please do share. Thank you very much.